What is up folks out here this week? I wanted to do a video on something that I think is really been um, a pretty profound thing as far as my shooting is concerned and something that's really helped me and yet I still am constantly having to remind myself of it and that is learning how to uh, set up your bow arm for a, a good shot and how to relax your forearm and your bow arm and shoulder for a shot in order to keep from some of those pesky plucks and collapses that we all deal with. So stick around and uh, see if I can help you out. So bow arm, shoulder, and forearm of your shooting hand, all of the, these parts of your body are the musculoskeletal and uh, skeletal components uh, of your upper body that really can affect your shot, especially if you're tense. There's a lot of guys out there that you'll see on the range and uh, guys dealing with target panic and guys when they start getting tired, um, you see you start getting tense. That's I see that as when the shoulders start to ride up on every shot, you know, you're started all relaxed and just drawing back and getting into your shot. And then before you know it, you're all tensed up and, you know, um, bringing the shoulder up in your face. And it's hard to get proper alignment, but it also makes you much more jerky because your bones and your uh, muscles aren't locked in to their natural positions if that makes any sense. So you think about like a ball in the socket, like your joints are, if you're all tensed up and your shoulders are up high or turned in or something like that, like you're all basically um, like a decorticate posture where you're, you know, everything's drawn in on you. That's not bone to bone to bone contact. That's muscle and tendon holding parts of your body in place that are trying to hold back, you know, 40, 50 pounds or whatever you're shooting of your bow. And so to kind of give you an idea of what I'm saying is when you draw your bow back, if you're all tensed up and rolled in and stuff like that, um, your those opposing forces, that push pull that you're performing, holding your bow at full draw, uh, it, it's going to be less strong parts of your body working against themselves if you're all tensed up and not relaxed and in proper alignment. So whenever you're all tense, you're going to react and you're tense probably because you're dealing with target panic or you're tired. So if you're drawn back and you're all tensed up, as soon as that clicker goes off and you hear that, or as soon as you hit, you know, the point where you want to release the arrow, you're all tensed up and you're gonna collapse or you're all tensed up and you're gonna pluck, you know, because you're allowing that tense and that uh, built up anxiety to take over your shot. And I really try, if I'm feeling that coming on, to just ax my shot right there, let down, gather myself, get good posture and alignment and start over. So whenever it comes to proper upper body alignment and learning to relax your bow arm, your shoulder, and your forearm, what you're doing is you're going to, for one, it's going to be kind of difficult to relax if you're not in a natural position because it's not going to feel right. So starting off, the best way that I can describe this, facing right at you, point your bow straight towards the target in a natural way. Don't, you know, be doing all this weird stuff. Just blade off to your target, 
and relax your shoulders and point your bow arm straight out at the target, that's how your shoulder should feel. Just seated down in its natural position, just like if you're pulling your finger up to point your finger at something. Your, your shoulder's almost kind of bottomed out, right? It's, it's setting down in its natural position and it makes it a lot easier to relax. And a good way that you can practice this in your living room to know whether you're getting your arm into that position or not is just do that. Just to take your bow, pick something like a light switch on the wall, pull it up, point your bow at it. And you should be able to just hold it there nice and steady and stable and your arm feel good and relaxed. Your shoulders setting down into socket in a nice, comfortable, natural position where it's supposed to be. And your arm is not, you know, hyper extended, locked out. You're just a, a comfortable position, natural. That's the point that I'm trying to stress to you is that your arm has to be in a natural position and being all hyper extended and shoulders tensed up, that's not natural. That's not how we walk around and conduct our life day to day. So you shouldn't shoot your bow that way either. If you can transfer that same premise of just pointing your bow at the target and having that slight little locked out bend in your elbow, nothing, nothing much, just you don't want it hyper extended because that's not natural and you don't want it bent because you're not going to have any structure. Just kind of locked out into a comfortable position like you would bring your arm up and point your finger. That's how your, sh your bow shoulder and your bow arm should feel before, during, and after the shot. And it's going to help you relax. When it, so whenever you do make that mental note, or just chill out, relax, and let's work through this shot, you're going to have already set yourself up for success because you have put your arm and shoulder into a position where it's more comfortable and it feels more natural. So now that we've talked about the bow arm and the bow shoulder, let's talk about your forearm of your draw hand. This is a critical component in the shot. When this starts getting tired and tensing up, this is when you're going to see probably the most notorious uh, fault on your shots as a traditional archer, and that's going to be a pluck because you're all tensed up. This is getting tired. You've got all this built-up tension in your hand and in your forearm, and then you hit the back of that draw or you hit anchor or hear the click and you just let her go, right? So what I do to make sure that I'm relaxing my forearm is honestly a kind of a simple answer. I just try to relax the rest of my body. If your whole body is tense, this is going to be tense too. And if I relax this shoulder, especially if I just make a mental note of just, you know, relax my draw shoulder, it'll kind of follow suit through the rest of my arm. So whenever I draw back or relax, I just feel that tension let go in my draw shoulder and it radiates up through the rest of my arm. A good trick that you can practice, uh, whether you're shooting or just standing, uh, not shooting, and it, it works. I've been uh, testing it out for myself. I heard it from a second uh, hand a bit of information and I can't remember who it was or I would give you them credit if you're watching this video. Uh, thank you, but it's a really weird thing because if you are standing in your shooting position and drawn back, relaxing your feet. If your feet are not comfortable, the rest of you is not going to be comfortable either. So if you can relax your legs and your feet, you'd be surprised at how that just makes the rest of you relax just because your legs and your feet aren't tense. And probably that because those are some of your largest muscle groups in your body and it's what's holding you up straight and holding your posture is, you know, your legs and hips and feet. That's your structure. So if that's relaxed, the rest of you is more so able to relax. So that's kind of what I've started doing, especially when I'm at the tail end of like a shooting a 3D range or something like that. And I'm starting to pull some shots and get shaky and tired. Relax this shoulder. If, if I'm trying to really pinpoint my focus on something, relax this shoulder. Keep that, you know, pointed natural posture with my bow arm and shoulder. And just relax, you know, put that slight bend in my legs and relax that whole lower part of my body. And 
I've noticed a definite difference in the long run. So shot to shot on a long shooting session that I'm just more relaxed um, and less tense at the end of those uh, long range sessions. And all just by focusing my relaxation and uh, my, those mental notes to certain ports, uh, portions and parts of my body um, rather than just trying to mentally say, hey, chill out, relax. So I know that's kind of a confusing thing uh, to talk about, and it, this is kind of some more advanced stuff. I wouldn't call this necessarily a uh, beginner thing to master. Whenever you're getting used to no let off, uh, no cams, and uh, none of the uh, modern technological pleasantries that you have with like a compound, once you start shooting one of these, it's going to be hard for you to just relax, chill out, work through your shot process and really get in that rhythm. But for my guys out there watching this that have been shooting for a while and kind of have that form and everything established, you guys are definitely going to benefit from this and kind of get what I'm talking about. So to wrap this thing up, key points. Work on just taking that bow arm in a natural position, blade it away from something, pointing it out just like you point your finger and not hyperextended, but just a natural pointed out position with that shoulder drop down, locked into place. That's, that's how you should shoot your bow. And that's how your bow arm and bow shoulder should be. It's gonna be the most relaxed natural position. Bow, your draw hand and forearm, really focus on relaxing this shoulder. This will, for the most part, follow suit. But in general, if you focus on just relaxing the lower part of your body, the rest of your body will follow suit and you'll just notice a lot more general relaxation. You won't be so tense shot to shot, especially if you got a long day ahead of you on the range. So anyway, guys, this was a long, confusing one, but it's really important if you can kind of dissect it, rewatch this video a few times if you need to. And uh, I think it'll help you, especially with a uh, 3D season coming up and uh, um, a long off season ahead to get better on shooting. So Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So share the channel with your friends. If you haven't already, let's get more people involved in this. So thanks for watching, guys. Get outside and shoot straight. I'll catch you next time.